Oscar Bevis for IFL TV in association with MTK Global here in Birmingham for the main event of Midlands Mayhem. I'm joined by Mr. Lerone Richards and Adam Morley. First things first, that fight, was it hard to score? No, I felt like I won the fight. Yeah. Um, I felt like I won the fight, so, you know, anyone who tells me different, they, they, they're blind, they, got, they haven't got a clue about boxing. Did Lennox bring anything that sort of took you back, took you unexpectedly? Not really, I knew that it's sort of like, it's his world title fight, I knew he was going to come and bring it like he said he was. Um, but I was very confident um, that I was going to be able to win this fight and win it convincingly. A lot of people have sort of branded you as sort of a slick boxer, quite a pure boxer, but did you have to show a bit more than that, a bit of toughness in there tonight as well? I think I showed something different about Lauren Richards today. Um, uh, I've had two fights in... 18 months. 18 months, so, you know, I feel like the later rounds probably showed that, but, you know, I, I felt comfortably, I felt like I won the fight comfortable. Do you think you've established yourself now as probably one of the best domestic fighters at your weight? If you're I am, sort of I am, counting out the, the world take guys. Take away all the world guys at world level. Yeah. I, I am the best super middleweight in the country. 100%. I've got two of these straps now. I've unified these belts. And um, we'll see where we go from here. Obviously, I've got a good management team. Um, S-Jam, Adam Morley, Sam Jones. i also got Queensby Promotions behind me. So, you know, they'll know where to take me. You're going to have a lot of people calling for your head now you've got them. Uh, yeah, maybe, but... Yeah. Is that exactly what you want, though? Um, well, like they say, you know, be careful what you wish for. Obviously, a good end to the year for you. Can we expect sort of a busy, big you know 2020? What? It's been a brilliant year for me. I picked up the Commonwealth, and I've now picked up the British title, and, you know, this means so much to me, and uh, my family and my team. And, um, you know, I also want to thank this, like my sponsors, Vanquish Iconic, um, PT, um, PT Maintenance, FCR Markets, BoxFit, Chris from Middlesex University, and also look, I want to thank my friend, um, my friend and my strength coach Cameron jumping. as well. Jumping, Cam. jumping, go on. jumping, Cam. Yeah, it's not yeah. a shout out unless they jump in. Go on. Yeah, I want to thank you, man, because you know, listen, without him, like, I wouldn't be here. You know, and I'm emotional saying this, man, but without this man, I wouldn't be where I am today. So, you know, I thank him a lot. Yeah. Just going to pass over to you, Adam. Um, I just said to you that I'm pretty surprised that Terry O'Connor was the man with the right scorecard. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, I you think weren't convinced him. that oh, it was a split decision. No, I didn't think it was a split decision. Yeah. I don't think you can give Lerone only five rounds of that fight. Even if you score it harshly, I think you've got to give him Lee seven, eight. So I think that's, I don't understand Marcus McDonald's decision, but look, it's, we respect it. He won the fight. I think Terry O'Connor, yeah, got it about right. Here's special. 